Hello, this is Byrne, and if you want to learn what are four actions you might be taking that are lowering your chances with quality men, well, you are in luck because I'm going to be sharing them with you on my episode today. Hello, this is Byrne. Welcome to your great life TV.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, successful women, how you can create the relationship of your dreams with not manipulations, no crazy techniques, and as a result of you stepping into the most alive, most feminine version of yourself. The last couple of videos I've recorded have been pretty heavy, necessary, but heavy. So today I'm gonna to do something lighter, and I thought of nothing better than what are some things you might be doing subconsciously that are creating a hindrance or a limitation between you connecting to an amazing dude and amazing is the right is, is the word you know because uh, some of the things that I'll be sharing with you right now some guys will absolutely love them but it's not the kind of guy you want to be with so pay close attention the first one is not the worst thing you could do in the world but definitely not the best thing you could do either and that's excessive selfies and by excessive I don't just mean you're taking a hundred selfies a week it's a sign of loneliness but that you're being excessive in the emotion that you're trying to convey, either the contortion part of your body that is so uncomfortable and anyone can see that, but you're, you're trying to be so sexy in it, or that you're making this duck face that no one, I mean, 10 years from now, you'll look back and say, what the hell was I thinking? Or maybe that you're just really fishing for compliments, really fishing for your friends, girlfriends, and guys to say, you're so beautiful and you're so sexy. I, Nothing against a selfie, I think selfies are cool, but when you're doing it primarily to get validated, primarily to express something that you're not feeling inside, it's like that empty void that never gets filled, that black hole with anything, then guys will see that from 10 miles away, will know you're desperate. Number two, lack of boundaries. Lack of boundaries means that um, when somebody connects with you, he's going to know that you have a stronger need that is healthy for him because men and women are testing each other pretty much all the time uh, it's subconscious it's not something where no, nobody well some people do but most people don't say I'm gonna go test this woman right now but they'll fish right I mean he'll connect with you and he'll throw in a little sexual innuendo and you can either laugh it up for something cool which means you kind he's gonna think you like it or you can say I'm not cool with that and just continue you don't have to hit him in the nuts you don't have to but you can you can start setting those boundaries with the way he communicates with you the way he shows up when he connects with you how early he can touch you all those things the more you're clear in your boundaries the easier it will be for him to put you into the category of someone who he needs to work to get to know, somebody that he needs to invest his time to earn his, her heart versus a woman that he can have fun with and dispose of the next morning. Is it unfortunate that it happens this way? It is, but I'm not going to share with you uh, a vision of the world that I wish existed. I'm going to tell you the way it is right now. And the way it is right now is if you have no boundaries, you'll have more guys who use you. And that's not something that I wish for anyone who's ever watching my channel or anyone in the world whatsoever, even if you're not watching my channel. Number three, is infinite availability. What does that mean? That means that whenever he needs you or wants you, you are there for him. Uh, maybe you cancel plans with your friends. Maybe you stop doing something that's really important. Maybe you, that family gathering, that that's like, you just like say no to it because you just want to be around him. And he gets a chance to learn from the way he interacts with you that you have nothing else going on in your life. Am I saying that you should lie to him and make shit up so that he feels your life is busy? Absolutely not. That's playing games. What I'm saying to you is that you should have enough shit going on in your life that if he asks you, what are you doing tomorrow, uh, Friday night, and it's uh, like you have something going on tomorrow, so you have to, not that you want to, you have to say, dude, I'm busy tomorrow. Ask me earlier next time, right? So create the kind of life where you cannot be infinitely available, where he needs to plan things in advance, where he understands that you have a life, you have other things you have to do, and you can't always just be at his beck and call. Uh, again, not doing it by, via game playing, do it via doing healthy, exciting things in your life that make you be able to clearly and with honesty say, I'm not available for everything. Does that make sense? Last one, needed pursuit. Uh, I was just going to say pursuit, but I, uh, 
But I, I, I'm adding the word need to pursue. I don't think any woman should pursue a guy. That's my belief. Um, <laughs> but if you're going to pursue a guy, pursuing him needily, it's the worst kind, right? So here's what I mean. Uh, if the guy hasn't messaged you and you message him and not, not only do you message him saying, hey, I want to see you, which I would not recommend, let him step up and do it. But you say, did you forget about me? A little sad puppy face, <laughs> a little emoji of a, of a dog crying. That is like so unneeded. Pursuing a dude where you're either guilting him or doing the little tearful thing where you really miss him. You just met him last week, but you really miss him where he gets a clear sense Again, that your life is revolving around him as a solar system, that is unnecessary. So my first advice to you would be don't pursue men. Men will step up and pursue you if they need to. It's in their DNA. It's in their, it's in their they want to conquer and, and do things of that nature. And if they don't, then you can disqualify them, presumably. But if, if you are going to pursue a dude, which I don't recommend, Damn, don't do it in any way, <laughs> okay? I hope these are helpful, useful, insightful for you. Uh, if they are, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Thing number one, click like on this video. Thing number two, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And if you don't want to miss any new episodes, click on the little bell so that you get notified. Third and most important of all, if you do nothing else, there's going to be a first link on the description of this video that will allow you to watch a masterclass. You enter your name and email and you'll start watching a masterclass I created for you that will guide you through more specifics on how you can step into the kind of relationship you want with less pain and less challenges than you have in your past. Last thing I'll say today is if you want more hand-holding and help, practical back and forth and in finding your soulmate and creating this from a place of fullness of being versus just techniques and, and strategies, then uh, there's going to be another link in the description of this video that will allow you to apply to work with me. You submit an application. If I feel I can help you, I'll read each one of them personally. My assistant will reach out to you if I feel I can help you and set up a time and we'll connect. And if I can help you, we'll do it. If, we, if I can't help you, then no harm done. You move on uh, with your life. Thank you so much for connecting with me today and allowing me into your heart, into your phone, into your computer, wherever you're watching me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.